Welcome to this tutorial where I will show you everything you need to know to trade Bitcoin successfully on Femex. If you don't have an account already or you want to create one, you can go to the video description and click on the link, then you will get to this page. And then as you can see, you can get up to $100 in bonus immediately. And there are also some other um, bonuses always going on. So if you register with this link, you will always be eligible for upcoming events. All right, so if you click on the link, you can see here you can get some nice bonuses. You can see also, you can also type in the invitation code if you want so, and then just enter your email and your password and click on create an account and your Femex account is already created. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, you will get to this page right here. This is just an overview of all the trading pairs you can trade on the spot or contract market. So this is with leverage. This is just normal buying and selling crypto. Up here you can see some yeah things you can do. For example, you can uh, see all the markets. You can of course buy crypto or also trade crypto. So first of all, what we have to do is deposit money to our Femex account. And to do that, we just can go up here to assets and then we can either click here or just click on deposit. And then as you can see, we are right here in deposit and then we can choose the currency we want to deposit right here. As you can see, you can deposit many different cryptocurrencies, but I would recommend you to just start up with uh, start off with Bitcoin or US dollar tether. With Bitcoin, of course, you can trade BTC USD and with uh, USDT, you can basically trade any cryptocurrency with the USDT trading pair. So in this case, let's just go for Bitcoin. And then you can see right here, we can click on deposit. And then right here, we can already see this is the, the address we have to deposit Bitcoin to. We can just copy the address right here and then just send Bitcoin to this address. Alternatively, of course, we can also choose a different uh, currency right here, or we can also buy it immediately if in within the platform. If you have a Visa or MasterCard, you can, of course, choose to do that as well. All right, once you have deposited the cryptocurrency to your Femex account, it will appear right here within your spot wallet. Next thing we have to do is to transfer it to our contract uh, trading account. And on this account right here, I already did that. So I have a um, Bitcoin balance right in here. And then what you just have to do is just click on here and then just go down here to fund BTC trade account. And if you click on that, as you can see, you can transfer um, it from your Bitcoin wallet on, from a spot wallet to your Bitcoin trading account right here. Just type in the amount, click on confirm, and then you funded uh, BTC to your trading account. And you can also do that with US dollar, as you can see right here. You can of course also trade cryptocurrencies on the platform. So you can switch whichever currency you want and then just fund your account as you can see right here. Once you have deposited money to your trading account, we can now go up here to markets. And then we can click on contract and choose whichever cryptocurrency we want to trade. In this case, let's go for Bitcoin and just click on buy sell. Then we will get to this page. This right here is the important trading page where we will do all of our trades. And now let's talk about the trading platform. Let's just go through all these elements. First of all, you can customize how this trading platform looks. So if it looks different for you, you can of course switch that up. So the first setting that you can set is if you go to your settings, you can see you can choose if this right here, as you can see for me, it's on the right side. You can also go to the, your settings and click on here. Then it will appear right here on the left side. I prefer it on the right side. And of course, for all these elements that you can see right here, you can always change the size of it. As you can see right here, you can move it to a different place. So you can customize all of your, um, yeah, as you can see all of your elements on your trading platform right here as you want them. So in my case, I prefer this layout right here with a price chart right here, order book right here, here I can control all of my trades and down here I can see my open positions. All right, let's look into the different sections in more detail. First of all, let's start right here in the left top corner. We can see the trading pair that we are trading, the price of it for 24 hour change, high, low and the volume. Then right here, we can change the time frame of our chart. This right here is just um, from TradingView. So you can, we can use this right here as we know it from TradingView. If you have ever used that, we can of course move around in the chart, change the time frame right here, change if you want a line chart, for example, or also add some indicators as you can see right here. So if you want, for example, an RSI or any other indicator in here, you can also do that. And of course, can draw into the chart easily right here 
or you can also do some, I don't know, like trend lines if you want to do that. It's really customizable and you can do a lot in this chart. For example, measure a certain move, how much was that drop, for example, in this case, 5%, as you can see, or just measure something else. This is something very nice you can do in here too. And let's, this is just where you can also see, once we will open a trade later, you can also see where you started your trade, where you take profit and where your stop loss is. All right, let's move on to the right. This is just the order book. So we can see all the selling orders up here at what price, what size and what US dollar amount they want to sell in this case. So selling orders. And down here we can see the same thing for buying orders. So they want to buy at that certain price. And of course, this ranges all the time and moves around. This is just in real time the order book that we can have a look at. Down here we can see all the recent trades that have happened in the past few seconds. Just a small update right here. And let's move down here. This is the important section for all of our positions. So if we have positions opened, we will see them displayed down here, but we'll get into that more detailed later on once we have opened a position. Right here on the right side, we can see this is the control element where we can control all of our trades. We can place orders, we can check how much balance we still have and all of that good stuff. We can, for example, set the leverage as you can see right here. So this is where we can control our trades and open the positions. Let's start, up, start off with down here. This is not really important down here. We don't really need that for now, but here we can see our balance. So this is important right here. We can see our Bitcoin balance. So in this case on my trading account, I have in Bitcoin 0.1383 Bitcoin that I can use to trade. And as you can see up here, I can of course also transfer or deposit money right here within this section. And up here, from here up here, to down here, this is where we can open our positions. So let's let's just open a position, for example, and let's start right up here with the top. So we can either choose, let's take a look at them, these two here, we can either choose to make a limit order or a market order. Only difference is basically if we choose a limit order, we can set a certain price, as you can see, it's displayed right here with limit price, where we want our trade to be opened. So if we don't want to enter the position right now, we just want to open it, for example, let's say at 45,000 or at 46,000, exactly at a certain price. We can just type that price in right here. So for example, 45,000, and then our position will only open if that price is hit. If we say, all right, it's fine. We just want to in, uh, go into the market right now, immediately, then we will have to choose a market order. Basically, that's the only difference then this is just at a certain price and market is we enter the market immediately. Let's click on market for now and let's go down here where we can choose the quantity of our trade. So this is the size position in US dollar. So that's a bit, maybe a bit confusing, but you are buying, for example, in this case, 10,000 contracts with this, which is $10,000 because each contract is $1 in this case. Um, down here, we can choose how much percent of our portfolio we want to invest. Of course, the size position is calculated by how much this position will cost for us times the leverage. And in this case, this would be 0 0.04 BTC times 10 will equal a position size of in this case 0.39 BTC. And that will equals uh, in this case roughly $18,000. So this is how this is calculated. If we change our leverage, of course, this will change too. For example, let's go for, we only want to make a 5x leverage. So let's change it to 5x. Then you can see this jumped up. But if I move it down again, where it was, you can see now it costs us roughly the same. We just only use a 5% leverage. So this is only times five will equal this value, position size in BTC, and up here, this in US dollar. You can of course switch it up, change it as you want, change the leverage down here. I would, we can go up to 100 leverage, but I would recommend you to stay at maximum with a 10x leverage for, for the beginning. Um, so let's just go for 10x actually. You can see we could open at max with this BTC balance if we would take all of this. As you can see, this would cost us all of it. You can of course also see it here for short position. All of our balance would it would cost, then we could choose a position of 1.3 BTC, which is um, $61,000. All 
All right, let's uh, in this case open a $10,000 position. We can type that in manually right to here too. This would only equal 16% of our portfolio with the 10x leverage. And now we can either click on buy or sell, long or short. In this case, let's just go for a long position. And if I click on here, this window will open up where we can see a more detailed uh, view of our order. We can see again, we are making a market order, $10,000, 0.0223 Bitcoin. But it will cost us from our own money, from our own capital. With a 10x leverage, of course, the position size is $10,000. This is the price where we will enter the market. This is our estimated liquidation price. So if we do not set a stop loss and our position goes so much into the negative that basically all we have put into the trade, these 0 0.223 Bitcoin of our own capital would go to zero, then our position will be closed immediately. And that's just our loss. So this is where the liquidation price is displayed because at that price, our position will be closed in the loss. Here's just the difference to that liquidation price. Uh, this is not really that important. And down here, this is important where we can set a take profit or a stop loss. So if we click on here, we can say, all right, let's say if our position goes 50% into the profit, then we want our position to be closed. As you can see, this would mean that if our position goes to this price, goes up to 47,000, as you can see it right here, then our market order will be triggered, the take profit will be triggered and our profit would be estimated 0.0114 Bitcoin. This is very nice. You can always see how much profit will I make and where will my position be closed if I am, for example, 50% in profit. Now on here, you can set your stop loss. Let's click on here. And now we can choose, for example, let's say if our position goes 10% into the negative, then I want my position to be closed. So this would be at the price of $44,826 then our stop loss will be triggered and we will end up with a loss of 0 0.00224 Bitcoin, for example. All right, if we have all that set up, we can of course change it later too, but then I just click on confirm. And as you can see, our position has opened. We can see this is where we entered with $10,000. Up here, we can see that's our take profit. And that down here is our stop loss. All right, here, down here, we can now see our position. So we can see down here on the left side, we can see the size of the position in dollars. So in this case, $10,000, we can see the value right here in BTC. Next to it, we can see our entry, entry price where we entered the position. We can see the liquidation price where our position will be closed if we do not have a stop loss. We can see our margin. So how much of our own capital we put into this position. So in this case, we put in uh, 0.02 Bitcoin, which is $1,000 with a 10x leverage equals, of course, $10,000. Then right here, we can see our profit in this case, a loss because it just went a little bit more down. So in this case, we're $9 in a loss. And right next to it right here, we can see our take profit and stop loss again. And if we click on it right here, we can change all these different numbers again. All right, you can also change it manually right here. For example, if I take my take profit down a little bit or or adjust my stop loss, I can of course always do that. It will always immediately um, change it right here too. So if I click on here, I can immediately see, okay, how much profit will I make if my take profit will be hit and how much um, loss will I make if my stop loss will be hit. All right, in this case, let's close our position. So you don't have to close your position completely. If you want to close your trade, you can also close bits of it. For example, half of the trade. So to do that, we can go right here on the right side to close position and then just click on market. And now if we close all the position, we just type in 10,000 because that's our position size and then our, com our whole complete um, trade will be closed. But in this case, let's just close half of it. So we just type in 5,000 and then just click on confirm. And as you can see, we closed half of our position. So we only have $5,000 left. If you want to close all of your positions or your entire position, you can go up here to market again, choose the remaining $5,000 and click on confirm. And then as you can see, your position is completely closed. All right, I hope you found it helpful and learned a little bit. If you want to open a Femex account, don't forget to go down to the video description and use the sign up link to get some nice bonuses. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.